Hi, I want to take you through a meditation today to assist you in moving away from all the fear, the fear-based thoughts, all the different things going on around you that are pushing you towards or compelling you even to, to feel fear. I'd like to assist you in healing some of that, releasing that, and returning back to your truth, that place of peace, of inner knowing, of knowing that you are supported and that you have assistance all around you, although you may not be able to see it. <laughs> so I'm going to tap into those energies now through this meditation, and I just invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay, so are you ready? Now, I would invite you just to get in a comfortable place. Maybe if you like sitting up or laying down, it's your choice. Um, and I'd also invite you if you want to hold on to crystals. I always like to hold on to a clear quartz in my left hand, the receiving side of the body. And then I hold like a black tourmaline or maybe black obsidian. It could be in the shape of a ball. It could be a point. It could be anything. It's just the black crystals are very good at drawing negative energy out. So that's why I always like to have clear quartz. And it could be another type of quartz. Um, but I like to work with the clear quartz and the black stones. So just a suggestion if you like. Um, and, you know, sometimes you really feel that energy of the crystals. And you could feel the energy start to circulate around your body more. They might heat up. Um, anything could happen. It just adds to the experience, so that's entirely up to you. I know I'm going to hold on to them. In fact, I like to hold on to uh, this guy when I'm leading meditation, so I think I'll do that. So, are you ready? I invite you now to just close your eyes and take a nice deep breath in and letting it out. Another deep cleansing, healing breath in. Feeling it go all through your body and then out. And just imagine that you're pulling energy from the universe, from spirit, from God, from the heavens. Just calling that energy in through the top of your head with each breath, feeling that energy coming in and going out through the bottoms of your feet. Now imagine you're breathing in and up through your feet, pulling in this beautiful energy of the earth, coming up and out through the top of your head. Then imagine that you're pulling energy in through your hands, calling that energy in, and you could feel it going down and through your body and out through your feet. Or maybe you like to call that energy in Feel it coming in through your arms, up through your shoulders, your neck, and out through the top of your head. We're just opening up all these areas of drawing energy in to your body, to your energy field, to the whole system. So you can do it all at the same time. Imagine breathing in this beautiful love and light and healing energy, and then breathing out that very same energy. So calling the energy in, coming into every single cell of your body, and then sending that energy out to all those who could use this energy. It's never wasted. So really just getting in the flow of the energy coming in, going out. And now I'd invite you to imagine that you have this pole going up and down your spine. It could be eight inches, 10 inch diameter, whatever you want. It could be a skinny little pole. And you're just filling it up with this beautiful love and light. And so much light is coming in. It's so full that it starts to emanate past this pole and into every single cell of your body. And you're feeling this beautiful energy and your body starting to buzz just a little bit as you're relaxing deeper and deeper. And then feeling that energy even expanding out past your body into your aura feeling that energy just expanding above you, below you, all around every side of you. 
and feeling that energy expand even past your energy field, your aura, and feeling it going out past the place where you are, the home, the building that you're in. Feeling that energy expanding even further out than that to the edges of your town. Feeling that energy expand even further to the edges of your state. Possibly feeling that energy go even further as if it's just wrapping itself around this whole planet. Just allow yourself to go with that energy, just even just using your imagination because it will take you there and you'll start to feel your energy expand. And as we go on through this healing and meditation, you may even no longer feel where your body ends and where it begins because all you're feeling and sensing is you as the energy that you are, the truth of your being. You are energy. You are a creator. And you ultimately call the shots as to what takes place in your life, the things that you're creating, the good, the bad, and the ugly. It all comes down to you. So in this meditation, I wanna to work to expand your awareness, to assist you to be able to choose those energies you wish to operate from, to be able to quiet those fearful voices outside of you, all those different programs that get triggered, all these different patterns and ways of being that you've picked up even as a young child that get stimulated by the fearful voices. And just for a moment, acknowledge how easy it is to go into fear energy. So everything that that is that creates this ease of going into fear, can we uncreate and destroy all of that? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. Let's release all the vows, oaths and decisions that compel you to be drawn to those fearful voices and have those voices have a direct effect on you, on your being. Let's release all the vows, oaths and decisions that would compel you and make you listen to the outside voices and ignore your own. Let's just release all of that and download you with what it would feel like, what it feels like to honor your own knowing, to acknowledge that you ultimately know what is true for you. So just taking another deep breath, allowing for those clearings to do their thing, just letting go of those energies that do not support you, releasing all the energetic, mental, emotional ties to all of the times when you've been pulled into fear. Times when there actually was really nothing to fear, yet you were pulled into that fear, as well as times when there was actually something to fear. We want to release those energetic, mental, emotional ties from that fear, from those experiences. So it can be like a clean slate and you can feel your truth and your well-being. So now just breathing gently and easily and feeling again this energy expanding. And you can even start to feel yourself pulsing with the rhythms of everything within the universe. As you breathe, it's like your breath is extending out way past your environment that you're in, that you can see as far as you could see. You're just expanding the energy out further and further and just breathing in all the love that is out there in the universe even if you can only acknowledge it within nature itself. All of the trees, the animals, the plants, the ground, the rocks, all of that beauty in nature. Let's connect to that energy and just breathe and flow with that. Whatever rhythm your breath is taking on, just go with that. 
allow yourself this time to just be relaxed, to just allow yourself to feel you as your truth, as this energy, this beautiful energy, this creative energy, this energy that is eager to create out there in the world. And let's download what it would feel like to just be that creator and not be pulled away from outside stimulus and outside circumstance and other people's stories. Let's download for you what it feels like to be in your own truth, to create your own stories and to trust in your own inner knowing. So everything that would prevent you from trusting in your own inner knowing, can we uncreate and destroy all of that times a godzillion, right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. And that's the access consciousness clearing. You can find out more about that if you wish. I'll put a link down below. So now just breathing again, noticing your breathing. And so let's just breathe in the energy of peace. So as if we're calling out to the energy of peace everywhere that it exists and calling that energy back in, feeling it go into every cell of your body, allowing it to expand past your body, breathing in this energy of peace, and again, breathing out that energy of peace so that it can go out to all of those who are not even consciously aware that they can tap into the energy, but their soul will connect to that energy and will pull it forward and pull it into their experience. So what would that be like to truly trust in your soul and its higher knowing, in your, in your higher self, to know exactly what to pull in for you at any moment in time? And it's so easy. You just decide to pull the energy in that you're longing for, whether it's the energy of peace. Let's pull in the energy of love, right? Just pulling in the energy of love from everywhere that it exists in the universe, and that's many places. Pulling all of that energy of love into every single cell of your body, allowing it to just lift you and assist you in feeling lighter. So the more light, the more love that we pull in, the more we actually physically feel lighter. The more we release those darker, heavier energies, the fear from all those outside voices, from the media, from those who don't know that they have the power to choose what energies to take in and to live from those, those, you know, like we're going to assist those people out there as well, who don't know that they can tap into these energies. So let's just send everyone out there who's not consciously awake yet to knowing who they are and the greatness and the power that you be as a creator. Yeah, so notice as, as you send that energy out, notice how that even expands your awareness even more to where now you can feel your energy expanding even further than it did before. When you felt like, wow, this is so far out there. And now here we are, we're going even further out. So just allow yourself to feel this energy. And now I wanna go on just a little journey I want you to imagine now that you're going to form this beautiful bubble all around you. So we're just going to put ourselves in this bubble of light. And we're going to make this bubble really big. Maybe it's 50, 60 feet in diameter. And imagine that you are sitting on this beautiful chair, almost like a throne. Like the chair is just honoring the greatness of you. And you're just sitting on this chair and just feeling so expanded and so comfortable, comfortable in your own skin as you sit on this beautiful chair that's honoring the truth of you. 
And I want you to look out in front of you and notice there's an identical chair just like that right out there in front of you. And you're gonna call those aspects of you that have been feeling fearful, that have been feeling any of these lower energies, maybe doubting things or worrying about what will be. We want to call that aspect of you in and sit it down on that other chair. And just look at that part of you. Notice how it appears to you. What is its demeanor like? How does it look? Does it look maybe closed in and shriveled up a bit? Or what's the expression on its face, right? This part of you that is carrying the fear and the worry and the doubt. Just notice that part of you. And let's remind that part of you that it is now sitting on an identical throne to what you are sitting on. This chair that represents the greatness of you and so look at that part of you and let it know I see you let it know that it's being seen I see you tell it I love you I see you and I love you and notice how it starts to change just a little bit just by hearing you telling it how much you love it and look at that part of you and let it know, I am not judging you, I understand. I understand how you feel. And notice again how it seems to lighten up a little bit more because it's being understood. And then let it know that it can choose to feel differently that it doesn't have to carry these heavy energies for you any longer. Just let that part of you sitting across from you know that it's okay to let go of the fear and the doubts and the worry. It's okay to just let it go. Yeah. And now feel that energy as it starts to lift. It's almost as if that part of you is just wanting some permission to be able to lift the fear and any programs that are running for that part of you that compels it makes it think that it must go into the fear that gives its power away to all those voices outside of it and thinking those voices must know better those voices are better educated than me or whatever things come into the awareness of you that allows you to give that your power away to the outside voices. We now want to uncreate and destroy all of that right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine, shorts, boys and beyond. So at the point of destruction, the point of creation, we're just letting it all go. And feel how you start to be free. Feel how light starts coming in more and more to where if that part of you did look a little pale or gray or clouded in some way that fog or that darker energy is lifting and the brightness is coming in and the color is coming in and that part of you is now becoming very vibrant and it's so exciting and you just look across from that part of you and you just tell it, I love you. I love you so much. You're doing such great work. We don't have to live in fear. We have the power to choose to live in a better way, whatever way that is for us that does not include fear. we're not ignoring times when fear comes to you because there is something immediately pressing and so you get this wave of fear so that you can make a choice to shift something and be safe it's different we're talking about the fear that comes in 
from all those outside voices that are painting the doom and gloom pictures that are looking to what can go wrong instead of looking to what can go right. So what if now collectively you and that part of you across from you decide that you will from now on ask the question, what is right about this? What good is coming from this? And just allow the universe to answer it. You don't have to know the answers for yourself. You don't have to figure them out in your head. That's what the universe is there for. We're gonna tap into that energy by asking the question, how do I return back to love? And then allow for the magic to come in and for just this delight to come through so what would it feel like to allow that inner child, that excited, happy little you that came here to this planet to explore and to create and to grow and to expand through this energy of joy and enthusiasm? Let's bring those energies in. So let's just download all those energies into every single cell of your body in the highest and best way for you. And just soak it in. And now I want to imagine that that you in the chair in front of you is now coming and merging with the you in the chair that you're on. And you just feel this joining coming together, this merging of the two of you back into one. And now feel yourself. Feel yourself. Notice what that energy is. You don't even have to put a word to it. You just feel this energy and imagine that you can kind of compact it into your hands so you have this little ball of energy within your hands, right? So maybe what you're feeling is love. Maybe what you're feeling is just this freedom or this expansion. Put it all into this little ball right there. And now whenever you need to tap into this energy, all you have to do is call it into your hands. Think about this energy, the way it feels right now in this moment. And so we want to take that energy, we want to take it and put it into your heart. And you can even imagine now that it's in there in your heart and it's taken on this form of like a little seed, a little seed of light. And it's there, it's implanted in your heart. And so anytime you want to expand into that energy, you just call that light in from the heavens, from the universe, calling it in right through the top of your head, right down into your heart, right into that seed, just feeding that seed like it's watering a garden. But it's light that is fueling and feeding this seed of light to grow and to expand. So that energy that you put into the ball of your hands, let's call it love or whatever else it was for you. Peace, harmony, joy, flow. We're just gonna allow that to expand more and more. And really every time you do that, and you can do it every time you're in the shower, just imagine that the water is the light coming in and it's watering that seed in your heart and it's allowing it to expand out and as you have that seed expand out you can then imagine that it's going out past your body past your city past your state to the whole planet to the whole universe it's up to you be that creative being that you are and play with all the different ways that you can expand into this high vibrational energy. And now before we end this meditation, I just ask now that you invite your higher self in. And your higher self is there just like that. You just call your higher self in. Maybe you see your higher self in front of you as this beautiful light. Maybe you see this higher self as you. Maybe the higher self comes to you in an image of some other teacher out there in the world. But just know that we're calling in your higher self. 
and I want you to just ask your higher self, what message can you give me right here, right now, that will assist me in holding this peaceful energy, that will assist me in being the love of who I am, that will insist me and energize me to go out and create all the things I really desire in my life. What advice can you give to me now? And just sit and listen or feel or watch. Maybe you see pictures, maybe you hear something, maybe a knowing just comes into you. Or maybe in the next days, a message hits you and you're like, oh, it's my higher self. Yes. It's beautiful. And so now just taking a nice deep breath, feeling yourself coming more and more back into your body, but not completely, right? Let's hold that energy, this expanded energy, but at the same time, allowing ourselves to come back in and ground down into the earth. So maybe feel roots growing down through your feet, deep into the core of the earth. Maybe just scooping up some of that earth energy, pulling it back up through your legs, through your torso, and up into your head, and opening your eyes and feeling the best of all worlds feeling yourself grounded back in, back in the body, feeling the chair beneath you, the ground beneath you, but still holding that expanded energy, that truly creative energy where all possibilities exist. And now, go out and create something awesome. So I hope you enjoyed this meditation, healing session, and... Um, share it with people that you know um, share it any way you like it's a message that is there just to help people feel their truth feel themselves as that expanded energy because that's what it's all about right it's no it's like talk to the hand when it comes to fear no i'm sorry you're not supporting me right now yeah if you enjoyed that meditation there's a link below where you can get another med meditation that is reprogramming the subconscious mind i invite you to do that you can also get my seven tips on how to raise your vibration because really we want to live from that high vibration no matter what's going on you know it's like there could be a struggle and you can go through that struggle from a really low energy or you can go through that same struggle from a higher energy and you'll notice if you can make that shift to the higher energy, which is not all that hard to do, that things shift and change much easier, much faster. We want to feed the higher vibration energy. That's your work. And so I'll see you on another video. Bye.